Hi friends, this is Susie, your gaming guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 57 in Candy Crush Saga's Salt NATO special event, where we have 23 moves to clear out 81 jelly and collect 3 ingredients. This is a 9x9 nine nine grid, that means there are 81 squares here, so there's jelly under absolutely everything. So we've got licorice twirls with more set to come down, popcorn frosting, marmalade, and then, of course, candy cane fences that separate everything. So it's going to be tough. I'm going to work probably on trying to get the popcorn opened up uh, because that seems to be kind of the toughest part of this board. I could do this. It wouldn't be good. It would only get to here and stop. So not liking that yet. I don't want to waste too many turns trying to get there from here, but I do think I need to, to do something to help. Oh, look at this. Okay, now it's going to be hard to bring this together with this, but I do have that set up where it's going to do some good. And look at that wrapped candy worked down here. I like that. I will take it. Uh, That's down a little too far. Let's open things up, go for a bit of cascading and see what we get. I can make a stripe here that might be useful lower. Let's go ahead and make it and then see about dropping things downward. We finally got that to shift. And then, gosh, I'm going to make this wrapped. I don't see the best way to use it. I'm going to make a wrapped over here, too. I'm liking wrapped. I have opportunities potentially to set up for color bumps. The problem with, is with so few moves, I don't feel like I can exercise that opportunity. I think it's going to be too tight and I've got to be more careful. So here we go. We're going to open this up so we get a color bomb. And we're going to open this up. Oh, this is going to take out a color immediately. Not the best situation for me because I had some pretty good things going that I had to surrender, basically. Uh, let's see. I could make a stripe here. That's not awful. I don't see an opportunity to get a color bomb. I could just take out all green. This is isolated where it is, and taking out green would concentrate things down. Let's go for a stripe here, and then let's take out green. Of course, we're inviting more licorice to come down. I think that's going to be our struggle throughout. If we take out licorice on a turn, no new licorice forms, but when we don't take out licorice, that's when new licorice can show up. And unfortunately, because the licorice is behind closed doors with these candy cane fences, it gets to be a very difficult thing to try doing. So, <laughs> I've got a lot of spots that I did not clear out. There's also a lot of green building up here. I'm going to go for one big final hurrah of a wrapped, wrapped combo. Definitely if I can get wrapped, wrapped combos or a color bomb wrapped combo, I would fare better on a board like this. That's what I'm going to need. I'm going to need to focus on wrapped candies and how to use those to my advantage. So I'm going to pause the recording, come back with a new board, and look at that to be my strategy. All right, so, well, I can make stripes. Stripes are good. Let's start out with this. Eh, here's my wrapped candy I'm looking for. I'm not expecting right away to be able to set that up with other things um, because there's so much craziness here that I have to get out of the way first. But I am working toward using that together with something. Oh, it was so far away from the action it didn't help much. But look at this. All right, I'm going to create a stripe. Never know what's going to happen on a board like this. It gets a bit crazy. If I do that, we take down too much. I'm going to do this, and then this. I've set up my wrapped wrapped. It's not quite close enough to help with this, but it will be close enough to help a little bit with this. Plus, we're going to set this off, so we are going to open things up. So I have not even been paying attention to the ingredients. I figure that if I take care of everything else, the ingredients will take care of themselves, and that seems to be fairly true on this board. Ah, That is not a color bomb, but this is, and look what it's set up with. 
All right, I'm going to go for this, even though I'm probably inviting a lot of licorice back onto the board. Okay, now what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So everything that we need to get is isolated behind the candy cane fences. This just needs to drop in. So I think I was correct in the assumption that it'll all take care of itself. But what do I do to put things together? I'm going to go for a striped wrapped combo. Oh, that slid apart. So I don't know if it'll be as easy to get this done like I had hoped. It's taking several more moves than I expected, but I still think it's worthwhile. Do I do that? I don't think so. I think I go for what I was aiming for, hoping that this will all come together. It's going to take out these three, which are in isolation. It's going to take out this one. It's going to open this up a little bit more. It's going to hit here and take out a layer, plus it's going to take this out, which will collect that ingredient. So that's a pretty good return for the money. Now let's see. Now I have to figure out the next best move. And this is where things get dicey, because anything I do can create some interesting cascading. I could make this stripe, but that stripe doesn't seem to be valuable. I think I need to make moves down here that will create some good here. A stripe doesn't help much. One, two, three. I can't get this into the proper position. I'm going to go for a wrapped and hope that I can set it up with a stripe. Oh, here we go. We got this. <sighs> At least on my second turn, I showed that I learned something and that my strategy is working better than just coming in without a strategy, right? Those wrapped candies really are impressive. I just need to be more impressive to capitalize on that. So I'll pause the recording, come back with a new board, and hope to finish it all up. Huh. Well, I think I'm going to make moves low to the ground to allow this cascading to happen because look what beautiful things occur when you do stuff like that and then look at all this purple yeah i like that the question is do i like it as much as i would like a color bomb wrapped combo the answer is no but i have it available right now and it will take out the licorice at least for a little bit here most of the licorice the way things flow, it doesn't work the way it used to. I can make a stripe here. I can make a stripe here. I can make a stripe here. I'm going to go for this one, and then I'm going to go for this one. And now I've got lots of things aimed here, right? So at least I'll be able to hopefully take this out, because that is traditionally an, a difficult area to reach. And then what can I do? I like this wrapped candy opportunity. How can I get this together with a special? I think I just got my answer. Again, not as good as a wrapped combo, in my opinion, on this board. But still sufficient to get a lot of work done here. So we're getting combos that I don't particularly care for that are helping a great deal. As long as we get enough of them, that should work. Now, oh, how do we get this down here? I don't think I do without exploding everything. I could take out all blue, but then I would still have the orange to deal with. These orange would come together. I just don't think I want to spend the time kind of waiting around trying to get that done. There's no way to move this over. I could go with a striped wrapped combo and that would have a good deal of influence. The only thing I don't like is I think I would be hitting both of these at the same time. And that's not a good situation for me. So should I just take out a color and concentrate things down and hope that something else comes up? I think that's what I'm going to do. I've got orange that if it's gone, it helps. So there we go with that. I still can't move this over in any usable way. So now what happens if I take out blue or I take out green? I still get stuck with this, although I do have this aimed here. Let's do it. Let's remove... Oh, blue is here. Green is here. If these were slightly different, my decision would be easier. Let's... 
Let's remove all green from the board. All right, we got another one of these. Let's hope that it takes out, oh, it whatever, something happened and took out what was up here. So now two jelly left over here. Let's see if cascading can help with some of that. It did. Oh, and now I've got this wrapped candy. All right. Oh, I don't need a wrapped candy. Look at that. I can just match those together. Sometimes I forget that we can make moves within the candy cane fences because there is uh, up to three here and up to four here. It's just not very likely. And it's so good that I hesitated uh, because it was the flashing that showed me what that move was. I've heard people say, I absolutely never take the move that's suggested because it's always the worst move. I don't think so. I think it's a random move and sometimes it's the best and sometimes it's the worst and sometimes it's okay. And that one was the best. So there I am done with that. That took me six tries, but I got it done. If this was helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.